representative of the Russian Federation. That's the, that's the Russian envoy. I'm going, straight to, I'm going straight to Kiev. I'm joined by Ukrainian member of parliament, Sofia Fedina, uh, former diplomat and head uh, of, the, uh, of the NGO European Movement Ukraine, Vadim Trukhan, also joining us from Kiev. Sasha Romanotsva, executive director of the Center for Civil Liberties of Ukraine from Kiev. And Bodan Nahalio, chief editor of the Kiev Post. Uh, he's joining us from, uh, from Barcelona. And uh, uh, Professor Alexei Gromyko, Director of the Institute of Europe at the Russian Academy of Sciences, joining us from Moscow. And uh, John Mark Dugan, expert in geopolitics, uh, former U.S. Marine, joining us from Moscow. And Nikolai Topornin is Professor of International Law, Political Scientist, joining us live from Moscow. I'd like to go across the street. I saw a lot of reactions coming in. I, I lost, uh, while, while we were hearing this, I, I saw especially when, I, when we heard the Russian envoy speak. I saw a lot of heads shaking there in, in Kiev. I want to start with you, Sasha. If I can go across to you, your first reactions to what you heard there from the Russian delegate. He completely blamed Ukraine. He said, we have not started the war. We actually want to end it. You heard the speech. I'd like your reactions, please, before I take this forward. This is a Ukraine-Kiev, Ukraine-Russia debate tonight. Sasha. Uh, hello, hello, and thank you for my opportunity uh, to say all what you, we want to say from Kiev. Uh, now I am in Kiev truly, and here I I'm, I'm just need to took my phone because uh, around of me it's sound of the bomb. And it's not a question that I'm sitting somewhere in military object or something like this. No, this bomb coming in the place where the simple, uh, simple ordinary people living, and exactly I am here. Uh, so my reaction for this, um, I, I, I don't want to even say that it's speech. I want to say that it's totally lie, because how, from uh, 2014, our organization, and same like a huge number of organizations from Ukraine, from Russia, from uh, Europe, from America, coming and um, document uh, human rights violations and war crimes which Russian uh, aggressor bring to Donbass, occupied territory and to Crimea. That's why when they started told about any documenting uh, human rights violation, war against humanity or war against crime, for me, I'm just remembered that big... Uh, uh, like they told white book uh, of uh, Ukrainian war crimes which they bring to Vienna, the, uh, which they bring to Geneva, and told that it's truly facts. But we, um, we really seriously uh, took such information and trying to check it. And it's always, always without any uh, truly search, always without any truly person who can say that exactly happened with me. So uh, Russian Federation really creates like virtual reality where they try and, and first of all, not for hold the world because hold the world not so blind, but first of all for people who are yeah. truly okay. hostages of Russian Federation. Let me, it's they all one population. Let, let me... Let let, let me let me go across once to, to Professor Nikolai Topornin from Moscow. Uh, you know, uh, this entire speech, uh, Professor Nikolai, uh, many things there. I mean, essentially, essentially, when the Russians said that it is important for all the stakeholders to talk. Okay, we lost the line there with, with Professor Toponin. I shall put that across to Professor Alexei Grobiko from Moscow as well. When, when the Russian envoy was speaking there about, about all the stakeholders needing to sit and talk, who was he talking about? Was he meeting, meaning NATO? Was he meaning America? When he said all the stakeholders, who was he referring to? Well, uh, if you re refer to Minsk, Minsk II pa uh, package of agreements, which is dead now, then the uh, main stakeholders was the authorities in Kyiv and uh, authorities in uh, Donbass. Uh, if you mean the stakeholders uh, these days, then uh, uh, it, it is not just Kiev, but uh, of course these are those uh, powers which have uh, supported the new uh, authorities in Kiev, which came to uh, power in 2014 through a uh, coup d'etat. Uh, so uh, 
I'm sure that uh, uh, direct talks and the negotiations which started uh, today in uh, Belarus uh, on Pripyat River on the border of Belarus and uh, Ukraine uh, has a chance to be a, a success uh, if uh, uh, other main uh, se uh, centers of power, first of all the United States and uh, of course Germany, France, the uh, United uh, Kingdom would uh, approach this negotiation uh, track with uh, responsibility uh, because to try to prove yeah, yeah, yeah. that what happened in uh, Ukraine in 2014 was not a coup d'etat, to try to prove that Kyiv uh, did not uh, try twice to uh, assault, to uh, overrun uh, Donbass the first time in 2014 and the second time in 2015, the first time they all the orders were given by uh, Alexander Turchinov, the uh, uh, second time by uh, Poroshenko. Uh, this will not work uh, because in uh, Russia we know uh, very well what happened. We have uh, hundreds of thousands of people fled from uh, Donbass. They live in Russia, they live with us. So we know uh, a lot of things, what kind of uh, crimes what uh, uh, kind of shelling no, but I, I, uh, have been I'm looking going at the immediate, on for Professor years. Gromyko, uh, Professor Gromyko, I'm looking at the immediate. I'm looking at the immediate. I'm looking at what's happening on the ground. I've just heard, just heard, just heard, Bordan is really upset with what you're saying. We just heard out there that, uh, that the talks have just been completed. At least I don't know if this is the first round. I don't know whether it's been successful, but I've just heard the talks you referred to have just been completed. And we're all waiting in anticipation. What is your expectation, Mr. Nahalo? I'm not expecting anything because Russia is not ready to negotiate it. It's declared an inhuman, barbaric war against Ukraine. It says it's defending Donbass. What's it doing shelling Kyiv? Chernihiv, Zhitomir, etc., etc. Come on. When I heard the Russian uh, delegate speak, I thought I was hearing Goebbels. This is Nazi Germany again, and Putin is Hitler. He's launched a huge attack on a civilian population that has not launched a single missile against Russia. If, Russia, if the Ukrainians are aggressors, name one city, one town that has been hit in the last three or four days by a Ukrainian shell or a missile. And Mr. A Russian uh, representative, professor, you call yourself, you know who is in the Donbass, Russian forces. It's not Russia. It's not separatists. You went in there with your people. And just as you took Crimea, you put your army there. You dress them up as locals, your proxies, Russians from Rostov area and elsewhere. You arm them. They are fighting with Russian weapons. You depopulated the area. You ethnically cleansed it. 1.6 million Ukrainians have had to leave. And you talk about yourselves as defenders of Donbass? Come on. You know, Hitler also was a defender of Germans. But Ukrainians are not Russians. And the majority of Russians in Ukraine and Russian speakers and ethnic Russians are fighting you now. They are killing Russian imperialists that are coming. So Russian I, speakers, Russians who are Ukrainian Mr. Bahalo, patriots. Mr. Nahalo, That's the reality. Face Mr. up Mr. to Nahalo, it. Mr. Nahalo, Mr. 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 Nahalo, you know, you know, I, we, we, everyone who's watching this from outside is extremely worked up right now because we need, the, we need some, 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 some sense uh, of, 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 of peace over the next 24 to 48 hours. For there to be, for, we need tempers to come down. We need killings to stop. We need the bombing to stop. But will Russia stop the bombing? The anticipation the and the worry leave. across Tell Kiev today. To across Kiev. Uh, Mr. Nikolai Toporin, the, 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 the worry across Kiev, and it can be corroborated by, by Sofia Fedina, who's a member of parliament in Kiev, who's joining us as well. But I'd like to go to Nikolai first. The worry in, is, is, is that Kiev is, is, is almost waiting to be bombed. You know that, that, the, that Kiev is being circled and Kiev will be bombed. And, and, and therefore, there is a real concern, real concern about, about civilian casualties. Uh, you know, colleagues, uh, if uh, if you can hear me, I don't know because I am on the road uh, for the moment, and uh, I can uh, hear you. It's maybe not. 
Yes, you, you can join me. Thank you very much. Because I, I also try to join what uh, colleagues uh, have said. Maybe not everything I could catch because the connection was not uh, very good, actually. But uh, as I understand, uh, there is a uh, 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 dispute uh, about uh, what to do now, how to stop, how to stop uh, these military operations. Uh, for my view, it's the most important thing right now. I know that uh, two delegations, two delegations, one from uh, Russia, another one from Ukraine, they uh, got uh, together in Belarusian side and now try to uh, to negotiate how to first of all how to stop to stop bombing how to come to peace because this is for my view yes for my view it is the most important thing uh, right now people want to live without bombing people want to live without killing people want to live without uh, firing and this is absolutely uh, the most important thing for for the now we, we, we should avoid, I think, uh, other things to discuss what was going on eight years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. This is very important, of course. But in my view, the most important thing for, for those who are under bombing right now, I mean, civilian people, first of all, in Ukraine, in Kharkiv, in Kiev, in other cities, this is, uh, should be stopped. This should be stopped by any means. By any means, this is my position, yes. And uh, after it, after it, after it stopped bombing, then we, we can continue with uh, trying to reconcile, reconcile things. This is a very complicated uh, matter, very complicated matter, because uh, <laughs> it, it uh, continues uh, actually from uh, 2018. 2018, this I, I is don't a, know. I, I a mean, I've just been, uh, Nikolai, Nikolai, I'd like, I'd like to go across to Sofia again. Sofia again, and the breaking news that we have here, Sofia, before I come across to you, which is a source next to TV saying negotiations between Ukraine and Russia have been completed, at least for the moment. The Russian and Ukrainian negotiations on Pripyat may have ended. The doors of the hall where the three rounds of the meeting took place are still open. They are discussing the possibility of statements by both the parties to the media. The first statement from the negotiations, the Ukrainian side is saying, Sofia, that the parties are leaving for conversation consultations in the capital, which means both sides have presented their stance to each other. The Ukrainian side will come back to Kiev for consultations. Is this looking promising to you in any way, Sofia? I would like to say the very important thing. It's very easy to stop the war. Moscow Federation has to back off and Moscow Federation has to take away its tanks, its planes, its bombs that you came with here to Ukraine, killing Ukrainian people all over the country. It's very easy was not to start the war and the war started. Ukraine was very peaceful country before Moscow Federation invaded on the 20th of February Crimean Peninsula and next Crimean Peninsula, then invaded Donbass. They killed more than 14,000 of people here in Ukraine. And the question is that Moscow Federation citizens should kill Putin to stop the war unless this is all the bullshit talks. Sorry for the lexics. And if to talk about the results of the negotiations, the president of Ukraine, right now signed the application to enter the European Union for Ukraine. As we know that we have to build together the big security community of the civilized democratic countries and to protect each other from, from met terrorists and Hitler minions as Putin and his surrounding is. I'm so sorry to be so emotional, but 200 2,400 people wounded, civilians, 45 killed, civilians, children are being killed in this. This today, what Moscow Federation did, they used vacuum bomb that is called father of all the bombs among, uh, over the city of Okhtyrka in Sumer region. In Chernihivshtina, Moscow Federation troops used cluster munition bomb that was pr prohibited to be used in 2008. They came to our country. They started shelling and bombing all the cities of Ukraine. They killing civilians. You can see this videos alive and 
What I can say right now after this General Assembly speech of the Moscow Federation representative, I think Putin's propagandist, that Moscow Federation is a country that had chosen a lie to be its ideology, because that is total propaganda. And having a chance, I would like to ask Indian community to spread the truth and to ask Moscow Federation citizens and Moscow Federation mothers to take back their sons because they were sent by Putin regime to kill Ukrainians just because we want to be independent country, just because we don't want to be a part of this a concentration camp reality that Putin builds in his Moscow. And furthermore, what I would say, once again, I stress, we had never attacked anyone. There was no conflict and no problems on Donbass in Crimea until Moscow Federation, with its regular troops, invaded Ukraine. So my message, back off, take off, take away your army. Because Ukrainians are not nationalists. Ukrainians are not crazy. Ukrainians just defend their own right to live on our own land without your Putin, your killers, your murderers, and your mad propagandists. Sorry for my emotion, but I'm in the country that is being shelled right now no, that, by that's, Putin that's right. terrorists. I want, a, I want a response from John to that. From John Mark Duke, and I like him to respond straight. Uh, to what's been described as the Moscow Federation's position by, by a very emotional Ukrainian member of parliament, Sofia Fedina. Now, that speech referred to, to radicals killing children, women a, 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 in the DPR, LPR. Uh, essentially, Moscow hit back. It said, we are not the violators. It's Ukraine which has been violating all this while. Uh, they, in fact, compared those in a, a, a carrying out these uh, the violations as close to ISIS terrorists, radical elements, nationalists. And now they've said that there are criminals using weapons, which actually proves the sense of recklessness among, among the Ukrainians. But John, what would you expect the Ukrainians to do? Even as the talks were going on, we had visuals what? coming in here of Russia just pounding, pounding. Kharkiv. It was pounding Kharkiv even as the talks were well, going on. If the talks are to be successful, the pounding look, has to stop. The pounding at some point, John has to yeah, stop. Well, yeah, well, they need to come to some kind of uh, agreement to have a ceasefire. But, you know, nobody, uh, she mentioned that, um, the, that uh, Russia is breaking the law, but nobody's following the law in this engagement. Um, the law in 1990 was that um, Ukraine was never supposed to be a part of NATO. Uh, NATO was never supposed to expand east, and yet you have NATO forcing its way east and uh, America trying to force its way, uh, 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 NATO's way into Ukraine. They have been arming uh, all these eastern companies that border uh, uh, Ukraine, uh, Russia with American and, and uh, British weapons, um, you know, and somebody, somebody mentioned that, uh, you know, the people in Donbass are fighting with Russian weapons. Well, you know what? Uh, a lot of people in Ukraine are also fighting with uh, Russian weapons. I mean, the AK-47s that they handed out to all the civilians, those are Russian weapons, you know? Um, but there's so much more than that because uh, you know, in the last eight years, 14,000 people in Donbass have been killed by the Ukrainian side. And where's the outrage over this? You know, um, and there's one more there's one more thing that nobody is talking about here. Um, we are we are in a major pandemic with COVID, right? Because but of, why are you pounding uh, Kiev? No, no, no. John, John, John. You well, constantly talk about uh, uh, Don, yeah. Donbass. You're talking about Luhansk. You're talking about DPR, LPR. But why are you pounding Kiev? Why are you pounding well, look, you Kiev? Residential areas point. of Kiev. Uh, look, a, so a lot of these so, military so then push back at some point at whose cost? The, hold on, hold on. A lot of these installations are located in 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 Kiev, and you got to remember, right? The Department of Defense has funded fifteen. At least 15 oh bioweapons laboratories Oh my God, okay, we're getting a lot of responses that are in to that. These One minute, all the windows, please. I don't know, we, 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 we're getting a reaction. We're getting a reaction. Bodan is responding, Sofia is responding. Vadim hasn't spoken yet. Who goes first? 
Who, okay, okay, Bodan goes first. No, no, I, well, Vadim goes first. Vadim has not spoken, but Vadim Trukan, uh, former diplomat, minutes. he's okay. joining us from Kiev. Yes, Thank Vadim, Mr. Trukan. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will be trying uh, to be okay. not emotional at all. First of all, I support everything was was said by my colleague Sofia. First of all, secondly, uh, Putin doesn't fight Ukraine. Putin fight Ukrainian people. Putin fight with Europe. Putin fight with democratic world. And you have understand it. And every these details and excuses are nothing. No, not, uh, doesn't mean anything. You have to understand it. This is first. Secondly, the world has changed. During these five days, you have to understand it. Now we live in completely other world. Ukraine will become the EU member state, and later on NATO member state. This is for Secondly, Russia will never be Russian Federation. This state has to be destroyed. And uh, Putin has to be uh, put into jail. This is most important uh, issue right now. If we will not do it right now, then we will repeat mistake with um, which Americans, together with allies, made back uh, to 1990 when they were fighting with Saddam Hussein, but just um, uh, um, managed to free Kuwait and that's it. And then in uh, 10 years, they again had to fight. You know, right now we have to stop Putin by all available means. We have to fight together. Ukraine, Europe, India, by the way. And I appreciate very much that your position is changed in Security Council. This is very good. I appreciate it very much. And the, the conversation which our president had with um, Prime Minister Modri was also very promising. India is a democratic country, and I believe that India will understand that Ukraine is um, fighting against uh, Russia for freedom. Ukraine is not fighting on the territory of Russia, so far, by the way, so far. But Russia came into our houses. Russia is fighting with our children, with our men and women. And next to me here are many people who are never um, been soldiers, but now they are protecting um, our land, our children, our um, women, our um, uh, families. You have to understand it. And I uh, appreciate very much once more Indian position and hope that India will be together with Ukraine. This is most important. Indian peoples have to understand who are people... military um, okay. crimers and who are those um, who are under attack. Ukraine is under attack and Putin together with his band has to go to jail. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mr. Trukan, I want to tell you that millions of people are watching you on India's largest news network at the same time. This is being broadcast across the world and you are getting a, a, a huge number of reactions from people watching everywhere, from, from South America, from Australia. People watching this debate are seeing both sides come on. And, and I would just like to say this, that this is the fault of the Western media. They've never encouraged a debate between both sides. Their reporting has been completely one side and we're getting both sides here on Republic. I just want to give you, I'm seeing your hand, Mr. Nahailo. I'm coming to you. I, I just want to tell you, Bodan, before I come to you, that the head of the presidential delegation at the talks with the Ukrainian side, presidential aide Vladimir Medinsky said, we found some points by which we can predict common positions. And the advisor to the head of Zelensky's office said, the main goal of the talks in Belarus today was to discuss a ceasefire on the territory of Ukraine. And I say that if these talks are to be successful, Bodan, the pounding and the, the, the bombs must stop, the violence must end. There can be no talks when there is bombing going on simultaneously. Yes. It's going to be fruitless. It'll get more complicated. What do you say about that? And then I'll get a sense from our, from our Russian friends. Russians get out of Ukraine, stop bombing, stop killing Ukrainians. There's a ceasefire. Yes, but they have to go. Look, my point to you is you're the anchor man. Why do you all get these propagandists, American traitors speaking as Russians? Why don't you have anybody on your program from the Russian Democratic camp, the many people who have signed petitions condemning this war, the musicians, the artists, Very the scientists, question, soldiers, the Very good soldiers. why don't you let them speak? Why do you have an American speaking for <laughs> Russia, a traitor to his own country? I mean, it's, I'm ashamed of you. you. You are speaking about democracy and you're giving the microphone to traitors to their own country. You did it in your last program. You, and they sit in Moscow, get paid by look, Putin. Excuse to me, tell your but do you even know who I am? Moscow's I'm line. This is not a traitor, no, 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 you piece no, no, of okay. garbage. Okay, no, 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 no,
Mr. Mr. Nahalo, I, I, I want, I want, I want this, I want this discussion to continue, but I want it to continue without, without the personal acrimony. As far as your, your, your view on my giving someone a platform is concerned, I'd only say this, yes, sir, that we Russian all have extreme Democrats views about every other person's point of view. The discussions today, the discussions today, Mr. Nahalo, allow me to continue, yes, allow, me to, allow me to, allow me to respond to you. Speak. The discussions today that are happening, the discussions that are happening today, Mr. Nahalo, the discussions that are happening today, and which have just concluded today, and of which there's going to be a second round, are with Putin's can representatives. I, I can also turn around and Hello? ask you, is why is Zelensky down? sending representatives to, 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 meet, to meet a government which he feels, if, he, if using your language, you do stronger language to, uh, to describe the people who Zelensky's representatives have met? Why have Zelensky's representatives met them? The idea is to have a conversation, and why? we cannot have a conversation can if you're going to be intolerant it? towards each other. But because you made Both those comments, sides. I let John Mark respond. Both I let John Mark sides. respond. We need, we need to have this debate. Mr. Nahalo, we need to have the debate. The world needs to hear both sides. I now, I, I let I John answer? respond to you. He took offense. May I answer briefly? No, can, can John respond to you answer. because he took let offense. So let's, yeah, can, can John respond I, I and then you answer back? I military. I was honorably respond. discharged. I served my country as a police officer as well, okay? Uh, I've been to Kiev. I've been all over this area, all right? I don't have a dog in this fight, you right? When somebody's wrong, they're wrong. And in this case, there are things that America has done where they are absolutely wrong. I'm sorry. America has been in invaders of over 50 countries in the last 40 years. And I'm sorry, this is a defenseless thing. Um, and yet you, you sit here acting like uh, you guys taking weapons from them. And, and, and uh, you guys are saying that, oh, yeah, we're going. We are going to join NATO. Well, this is the problem. You guys are pushing Russia, right? You guys were never supposed to be a part of NATO. Now, who's pushing? This is who? like okay. Russia and China. Shall, shall I, shall I, John, Why? get a response to that? This is like Why? Russia shall I, and shall China. I, John, Why? Shall I, John, Why? allow Why? a response to that? Would you? Okay, two hands going up. Sophia puts both, both her hands up. I need to go across to her. One second. Sophia is responding to you. I think I don't need to ask a question there. You can respond directly to John. Yes, Sophia. Yeah. Thank you. First of all, I totally support Bogdan. We have three Moscow propagandists, and we would like to have at least the word of opposition from Moscow Federation. They signed a letter to Putin to stop the war today. The second point, Ukraine was a neutral country until 2014. We were not a part of any bloc, and we were not striving to be the part of any bloc. But when Moscow Federation invaded Crimea and Donbass and started killing our people on our territory, just claiming that they are liberating us from something, Ukrainians started to strive to be a part of security system. And because of Moscow Federation invasion, Ukrainians today, 62% of Ukrainians want to be a part of NATO. And I would say there is no better promoter of NATO in Ukraine than the Putin, who is a terrorist killing people in different countries of the world. The next point, once again, I repeat, negotiations are very important, but it's very easy to stop war. Moscow Federation takes back its army. It's unbelievable how, how a big coverage of Moscow propaganda is because they shoot it mostly all the big cities of Ukraine on 24th of February. They started shelling. They started bombing. On 17th of February, they were bombing the kindergarten. They were bombing schools. And there are all the possible documents. There are uh, live videos of Moscow Federation Army where they testify who sent them, when sent them. They show their documents. They say who is their officer. They tell about what tasks there are. There is a, just a massive amount of information. And do you know that Moscow Federation demanded these talks not to cease fire because during the talks they were shelling Ukraine as well as Belarus. It was shelling Ukraine with huge amount of bombs and columns of tanks from Belarus and Moscow Federation were entering Ukraine. 
And uh, no can one. I ask you a question? You listen, no one can. I ask can't. you a question, Sasha? The last Sasha, point. Uh, the uh, last a, a, small, a small counter the question point. to you. I, I'll ask. I, the no, last because, because point. Because we are going Sorry. into. No, no. Okay. The last no, I, point. I, I have a counter no question. One, I have a counter no question. No one can deprive Ukrainians to defend themselves. This is one of the basic rights of all human. Okay. Now, can I, can I, can I ask a counter question on this point, please? Yeah. Tell me, does a NATO membership violence violate Minsk II? According to Minsk II, Ukraine is not allowed to join NATO. So doesn't Ukraine violate it by seeking integration and meeting with NATO officials in 2019? Question one. Question one. Question one. Question one. Question one. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll throw a second question at you. My my Ukrainian friends should. Uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you, Nahalo. Nahalo. Let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. Listen to me, Nahalo. The question is this. See, it's not between you and me. I'm going to ask the questions on both sides, and I can tell you this, nobody, no, no network in the world has fought so much ignorant. for stopping the shelling of shelling and the violence and the violence in Ukraine is this network. So we, 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 have, we are very solidly behind stopping the violence. So we'll also ask the question, tell me. It's not violence, In, sure. in, in it's October war. 2021. It's not violence. It is war. It's war. 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 Okay. Between oh, Russia yes, it's and war. It's, it's bloodshed. It's, it's bombing. Please, it's pounding. Please. I use stronger language. I agree with you. Strong to name the things uh, by their meaning. Please, this is not I, violence. This I is agree war. with you. Direct war, bloody war. Okay, then, then tell me one thing. Okay, they, they say the Russians are saying the Russians are saying, Mr. Trukan, the Russians are saying that the Ukrainians are getting very, very militarized. They are being used militarily. And my question is to you, and please hear the complete question. Who violated the Minsk agreement, which is a ceasefire deal? When in October 2021, the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces listen, confirmed listen, listen, that the Ukrainian listen, military, listen, 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 that the but, but, but Ukrainian please, military, very, allow, you must hear the question. To, to allow, let me, uh, why don't, Ukraine please hear the question, Russia. sir. It's not sir, Ukraine. please hear the question, it's sir. Russia, my question to you is, no, Mr. Trukan, Mr. Trukan, you haven't heard the question. Sophia, you haven't heard the question. You must hear the I've question. The Please question. hear my question. My question is that in October 2021, the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces confirmed that the Ukrainian military had used the Turkish-made Bayraktar unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, in the Lugansk People's Republic, the LPR region. So you had uh, used... But the but Turkish very, very made Pakiratar UAV against whom were you using the UAV? Was the use it was it was a it was a confirmation it was a confirmation from your from your armed forces. Zero. That means it was it, it, it was not a military attack. And now we have uh, hundreds and hundreds of people killed by Russian weapons. You have to understand it. I actually very surprised. I, I have a feeling Excuse like I am me. on Russian TV, you know, not on Indian TV, but on Russian TV. Believe me, sir, this is not right. You are supporting um, um, a bloody war which Russia started against Ukrainian people and, and against e e Europe. I will not take part in this uh, show. I will not take part. Bye bye. Talk with your Russian stupid friends. Okay, I can see that. That's no problem. I'm asking a question here. Can everybody be please. on the screen, please? My can question is, who is violating Minsk? Is the violation of Minsk an issue at all? Who is provoked can whom? And my question to yeah. the Russians will be, my question to Let the Russians, so, I'm just coming to you. Answer. I'm coming to you, Sasha and Sophia, I'm coming to you. My question to the Russians is this. Ukraine is seeking elections in Donbass according to the 2015 agreement. Didn't Russia violate the Minsk agreements by unilaterally, unilaterally, unilaterally passing a bill in the Duma and recognizing their sovereignty? And is it or is it not true that the second Minsk II agreement in February 2015 had to be signed only because of the Russian offensive, which violated Minsk I? seizing hundreds of thousands of square kilometers. So you put a gun to the Ukrainians head and made them sign Minsk one. My question, which of my Russian uh, 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 panelists would like to take that? Would, 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 uh, would Nikolai like to take that? Would Professor Gromyko like to take that? My second question to you, please. Professor Gromyko. 
Well, uh, what we are witnessing now is the uh, incredible, you know, show of uh, several one mangas from Ukraine, which are so keen, whom are so keen to torpedo the uh, diplomatic talks. Uh, so the representatives of uh, Ukraine uh, now are going through a very difficult task uh, while meeting with their Russian uh, counterparts to find some uh, compromises, uh, to uh, find common uh, solutions. And what we hear now is a deluge of insults, of trying to, you know, gag your uh, opponents. Uh, this is, you know, uh, <laughs> very uh, ridiculous, but a dramatic picture. Uh, all these things are... Uh, uh, about bombing and shelling of kindergartens and schools, you know, uh, it's uh, uh, pathetic. It's so uh, pathetic that uh, uh, if such kind of people, you know, are uh, led uh, to hold these stocks, then uh, for sure, two hundred percent, that uh, the war will uh, never stop. Uh, and uh, now, ju uh, just to try to answer your uh, question, um, uh, if you turn to uh, the monitoring mission of the OSCE, to their maps, uh, for example, from the 18th, from the 19th, from, from the 20th of February, and if you look at these maps, you will see uh, what a heavy shelling the uh, OSCE, a monitoring mission, registered um, uh, from the Ukrainian uh, forces a lie. on the territory of uh, it's Donbass. It's a total lie. So all this, you know, silly talk on, please. on uh, uh, the, the uh, Russia aggressor Not uh, with this uh, very, uh, you know, noisy rrr, uh, uh, all these uh, insults. Uh, uh, Turchinov uh, to, uh, today said in uh, Kiev that we should purify our country from uh, Russians and not just on the territory of Ukraine, but in Russia. And Turchinov, as an uh, acting president, was the uh, person who sent the first time in 2014 the Ukrainian uh, army to Donbass. So he began the war. And then Poroshenko, okay, okay. for the second time... Okay, we're getting... You, re you remember that... I, I'd, uh, like, I'd, like, I'd like a response. No, no, one second. Professor Gromyko, Professor Gromyko from they, Kiev, uh, I have three very restless panelists. All of them want to come in. Who goes in first? One second. One second. One second. One, one second. Who responds first? Who responds first? I. You know, this, this, May this, I? this is just silly. This I'll is a, okay. Okay. Who respond? Okay. I let Sophia go. But Sophia, if you can keep it brief, because Sasha hasn't spoken okay. for a long time. And then uh, first Sophia, then Sasha, then I'll come to yeah, Sophia, please. Yeah, Sophia, and and then once, and then uh, once Mr. again, Nahalo. when we mention Minsk, when we mention different negotiations, when we mention the demands of the terrorist country of Moscow Federation, we have to remember Ukraine was peaceful country. On the 20th of February, 2014, Moscow troops invaded the sovereign territory of Ukraine, Crimean Peninsula. They killed people there. They took over power. They started repressions, deportations, and imprisonment of the local nationality, Crimean Tatars. People had to escape there. In March and April, they started the invasion to Donetsk and Luhansk region. And on the summer 2014, they started to shell Ukraine with multiple lock, rocket launchers that came from regular forces of Moscow Federation. They uh, shoot into the plane MH17. And we know that Moscow That's Federation is, uh, is guilty in killing people. But Minsk agreements won was signed after the bloodshed that Moscow Federation created in Ilovaisk. Minsk Agreement 2 was signed after the bloodshed Moscow Federation created in the Baltimore when they promised the corridor for the soldiers. They promised the corridors without shooting and they killed hundreds of Ukrainian soldiers that were not protecting even themselves. 
So don't dare yeah, yeah, yeah. Moscow yeah. propagandists oh, like, to uh, talk about so, 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 you so, so, invaded I, I, I'd like our to go to Sasha. country. I'd like to go to Sasha. Uh, I'd like sorry, to go to Sasha sorry, right now. Uh, Sasha, please. Yes, yeah, because Sasha. Sorry, I need to go to bomb shelter because she, here is I'm again. I'm here is this usual place and it's bombing now. So I just asking you, uh, just Ukrainian. It's really peaceful a place where you can come in. Yeah, yeah, I go where you can come in. Uh, just uh, like for any one of you in international mission, we can show in all the territory which we exactly control. And no one of international mission can go to the, con the territory which controlled by Russia Federation last eight years. Sorry, I need to go because it's really shelling here. So I just prime. I just Please asking stay safe. you. You're a place. Stay safe, you're, Sasha. You're a place where it has the biggest democracy in the world. You're a place where uh, Mahatma Gandhi was born. I'm just asking you, it's really for all the people who love the peace, just not here in Russia Federation, just come in and look your own eyes. Thank you. I need to go. Bye bye. Take care. Take care. Please stay safe, Sasha. Please stay safe. Uh, and and I'd, 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 li I'd like to go quickly to, to Bahdan Nahalo. You know, if you'd like to say something as well, because, you know, the, the fact is we can keep talking about yes. who's responsible, who's violating myths. What did Ukraine do in the past? What has what has Russia done? But the bombing is now by the Russians. I mean, that's the point that has to stop. I think that that's the only fundamental point we need to come to. Yes, Bodan. Look, don't mislead people. It's not bombing. It's an invasion. The Russians have invaded Ukraine. They are shelling many cities, not just Kiev. And ask your 8,000 Indian students who are being evacuated what they saw. Ask them what they experienced. Ask them how they were treated by the Ukrainians. And ask them who is guilty in this. Take, you, take the Russian forces out. Give us the damages, reparations to the families, to the infrastructure. You'll be paying for ten, Nicolai, tens Nicolai. of years you know, to, to repair the damage you've created to Ukraine. You'll never return the people you've killed. Look at these pictures that uh, on Indian TV now in Berdyansk, Berdyansk, that you say you liberated. People are saying, get out of here. Go, invaders. We don't want you. These are Russian-speaking Ukrainians. Do you notice, Professor Propagandist, what is what you're watching there? Look, Berdy Berdyansk, your Russian... Killers are being told by Russian-speaking Ukrainians, get out of here. We don't want you in Ukraine. Get out of here. You're not liberators. You're invaders, imperialists, acting as 19th century, you know, imperialists did. The days of empire are over. You know, grow up, be a European country, not some kind of atavistic 19th century imperialist. I mean, who do you have in the Kremlin? Is it Nero fiddling while Kiev burns? Is it Hitler? Who are you dealing with? Listen to your intelligentsia, to your scientists who are telling you this is meaningless and it's going to destroy Russia. With the sanctions, you've shot yourself in the foot. You've isolated yourself. You're a pariah. You're, you're you know, the world is ashamed of you. You should be kicked out of the Security Council just because you have nuclear weapons to wave. But what kind of country, what civilization or values do you represent? Killers. Imperialists, professors who back that line. Does isolation not? Does isolation not? I would never. You? I would never send my children N to Nikolai? study with you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I should agree that uh, the war is not a method of uh, uh, making settlements. It's uh, quite clear and, uh, when uh, our colleagues from Kiev and from other from Barcelona, as I see. Accuse us with Professor Grumik and me. We are scientists. We are, let's say, peaceful people. We are not politicians. And you are accusing us of doing this, this very bad things. You're uh, accomplices. I can tell you that accomplices. I, I, I can tell you. I can tell you that I participate in so-called political show on our first TV channel, second TV channel, and stand with on with line with Ukrainian experts. You see, I am not against Ukrainian experts. I, I, I shall together. What do you want from us for the for the time being? What will, my 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 vision? The I, truth. I, I keep the truth. Today. The truth. I keep, oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't interrupt you. Sorry, I didn't interrupt you. Please, please calm down. 
Please calm down. The truth we want I, I, from you. The truth. For the, not yes, propaganda, I, 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 not I, fake I, I, news, I, I, not Russia Today. I, I, we want the truth. You I are listen, accomplices listen to, to murder. You, you are accomplices to murder. Please listen to me. Do you hear me? You are accomplices to murder. Why are not so? What would Sakharov have said? What would Solzhenitsyn have said? What would Herzen have said? I can't what? Hear what? With killers, I you don't hear. behave yourself it's properly. Condemn the killing, and I will speak to you as a civilized way. human being. Not, if you speak, if you, are, if you are supporting killers, you don't deserve to ha are, have you respect. To you, don't deserve you, respect. You, you don't deserve respect. You don't deserve respect. You are killers. Please, please, uh, you are killers. Me. I listen to you. It's it's not the method of You are killers. You are killers. You are killers. It's not the method. Let, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let's hear him out. So please, Ukraine is not Chechnya. Hold on, hold on. Please hear Nikolai. Hold on, please hear Nikolai. He heard you. I want to stop for. Please hear Nikolai. He heard you. I am not killing anybody. I am not killing anybody. Why? Why you accuse me of? I'm not doing. It's not my you are an accomplice. You are an accomplice. You are backing a regime that is killing my people. You are an accomplice, right? It's so is Bonico. You are propagandist. So is that easy. American traitor? You, you, you are accomplice to murder, you, to, uh, to war crimes. It's very easy. Be in Barcelona. You are accomplices to war, war crimes. Remember what Solzhenitsyn easy, told you, don't live by the lie. Don't live by the lie. Nikolai, please. Once then I can close. Nikolai, please. Absolutely, absolutely, it's not possible to to hold the discussion in such a way. Absolutely, absolutely. Nikolai, then, Nikolai. then you see President Zelensky. No, you can't. You can't bomb cities right and expect to speak about you know. No, I don't respect your rights. You are a killer. You are an accomplice. You came to you are kill an accomplice. Ukrainian so territory. So is that American traitor? That's it. <laughs> That's it. You are the killers. Right. And that is Good. the question. It's easy to stop the war. Just take away your Look, own I personal to the troops. Fat guy in uh, Spain. Okay, I think I think I think there are there are heated tempers on both sides. I understand completely. And all I'd say uh, is that the only way for talks tempers. to be successful there is, the, there is, is for right the is for the wrong. bombings there to end. There is murder and there are and, civilians and, and being killed. There yeah, is right there is there wrong. is right and wrong there and and whatever tempers. whatever no, word you use for it, the I, the, I the bombing like to ask uh, the bombing has to stop to come uh, to Ukraine and to feel and to sit in the shelters and to see the documents of their own sh soldiers coming to kill Ukrainians. They can see everything by their own time, the eyes. But they can see that after they stop watching Putin propaganda, everything is quite open. Everything has evidence. And Speaking, that is the direct of, um, way uh, to the tribunal. Sophia. Sophia, one minute, one minute. No, I'll get a view from John, please. Thank you. John, one last word, John. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So look, I don't have a dog in this fight. I just want to show you guys something real quick. This is me in Kiev no, in so 2015, in hanging out with the troops. Yeah, the question, what, what are you doing in Moscow? What am I? What you do in Moscow? What you do in Moscow? You what work for are you Putin. Doing? How much you work for I'm an Putin. IT consultant, okay? I'm an IT consultant. No, you're working for Putin. Now, if you're IT, now my, you should be wise. Uh, but I can see that you're stupid IT because you're working they for pay Putin. Me and hacking American Ah, you're highly paid. See, you people. You are paid by Putin. To protect disgusting. Putin, as I understand. <laughs> Americans like you, I disgusting. wish. Disgusting. I wish. You guys can yes. have access to my you bank account. You can see how little I make. I don't make anything for If you for work Putin. for Putin, yes. you will but not have yes. accounts my point anymore. Is, you my point is, there's right Ukraine. and there's wrong. Back, okay, there's right and there's wrong. Away. You guys can't let me talk. You have no right to compromise Ukrainian You can't have a valid response. You can't let me talk if you don't have a valid response. Ukraine has been building bio Ukraine has been building bioweapons labs from the Department no, of Defense money for years. Go and if back a policeman, to America you do not understand. No, no, no. Go you face your people. 15 Go bio, face your people. bio weapons Go face your people. in Don't Ukraine be a hero in with Moscow Department of Defense money. money. We...
need uh, to protect you know what? ourselves. Look, fat boy from you us. We don't from want to hear this traitor. Why is he else? representing Russia? Get else? us a Russian Democrat. You're a loser, Get us a Russian dude. Democrat to speak. Why is an American traitor representing Moscow on your TV show? Okay, now, now, no, okay, okay. I, I, I'm going to close you this nothing. with a big thank you, you to all our guests out there. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, as I thank my guests, let Why? me just say this at once, that at this moment, Russia has upped the stakes. We're getting the news of what happened in the talks. A nuclear triad is on standby. The West cannot put the onus of resolving this conflict on Ukraine alone anymore. It doesn't make any sense. From Boris Johnson to Joe Biden to the rest of the NATO nations, the time to talk to Putin is now. The world cannot risk a third world.